Hi everybody, it's John Lortz from the Senior Health Foundation at DiscoverSkills.com and today I want to continue our video blog series uh, that's talking about online learning. Today we're going to talk about ebooks. What is an ebook? An ebook is an electronic book. That's what the E stands for, electronic. Ebooks in essence are books, booklets, pamphlets, anything that normally is in the form of paper that has been turned into an electronic document that you can read on your computer that you can read on an ebook reader like the Kindle or other ebook readers that you see out there, um, that you can send back and forth to each other across the internet, or that you can go up and download. So in other in other words, it's it's nothing really too fancy. It's just a, a matter of you can you can actually read a book electronically. That's what the whole point is. Now in terms of learning, ebooks have become a very, very popular way to get materials to people. Part of the reason for that is that they're inexpensive. If I'm going to produce a book, it's going to cost me a lot more to print it, to bind it, to get it out to you, even to mail it to you through the re regular mail, than it would be for me to turn it into an electronic book or an ebook, put it up on our website, and then make it available for you to download. And the book publishers are finding the same thing. If you go up to Amazon.com, if you go to Borders, if you go to Barnes & Noble, there's a lot of different places now that are actually uh, allowing you to purchase selected books electronically as ebooks. You then basically take those, you download them, you pay for them, but then you put them onto different readers, if different electronic mobile readers that you can get. Well, the type of ebooks that we're in particular going to talk about today are the ebooks such as the ones Senior Health Foundation provides to you and a lot of other places on the internet that provide you training. And that is just simply an ebook that you can find on the internet and that you can download in the form of what we call a PDF file. Now PDF file, PDF stands for Portable Document Format. And PDF files we talk about in some of our other video tutorials. In fact, you can probably find them here on this website or on the YouTube, on our YouTube channel. Um, but here's the deal. PDF files allow me, the creator of a book, to get to you a book that you can actually read on your computer. If I were to try to give you a book in a particular file format from a word processor, like let's say if I, I create a book in Microsoft Word and then try to give it to you, the problem with that is is that you have to have Microsoft Word on your computer in order to read the book. On the other hand, if I turn my book into a PDF file, PDF is portable. That's what, that's what the portable part stands for. PDF was created by Adobe Corporation quite a few years ago to allow us to share documents on the internet with each other and have it so that we could each read each other's documents. To read a PDF file you simply need the free Acrobat Reader Program or I think now they just call it the Adobe Reader Program. The Adobe Reader Program is on most people's computers. Probably a good 98% of computers have the Adobe Reader. But if you don't have it, you can go to www.adobe.com and you can download it for free. Now, what we're going to do at the end of this little video blog here is we're going to go ahead and take a look at an example of downloading an ebook. In this case, it's going to be one of the handouts that we have available on the discoverskills.com website in our membership area. And this will show you how easy it is to download an ebook in PDF format from the internet and how you can open it up on your computer, read it, print it out, you've got it there in front of you electronically. So let's take a look at that. Okay, here we are at the discoverskills.com website. And I'm going to go ahead and log in over in the members login over here. I'll type in my username and my top secret password and click on login. And what that's going to do is it's basically going to give me access to the member area information, which is over here on the left-hand side. So we're going to go over here specifically to the member class handouts. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that link. And that takes us to the class handout page. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And here we run into all of the different class handouts. Now, these basically are ebooks, electronic books. They're basically PDF files that I allow you to download. And let's just come down here to this one called Computer Basics right here. And you can see that this is a link because if I put my hand on it, my or my mouse on it, it turns to a hand. And that's a link. And if you look at the very bottom of your screen, and I can't move my mouse, it's right down here, okay? But if you look down at the bottom of your screen, you can see where it actually says something about it being the Computer Basics PDF file. 
Now, if we were just to click on this normally, what will happen is that um, Adobe, the Adobe Reader will open up as part of your browser into a browser window. Um, sure, you can read an ebook that way, but really the best way to work with an ebook is by downloading it to your computer. And to do that, we're going to put our mouse right on top of this link, and I'm going to right click. Now, when I right click, I basically get my typical right click menu. And what I want to do is right here, it says save link as. So I'm going to save this PDF file to my computer. Let's go ahead and click that. And that brings up the Save As window. Now, I'm using Windows 7 here, but if you were using Windows Vista or Windows XP, it would be very similar in that you would see some big buttons on the side here for My Documents and Desktop and different places like that. And what I'm going to do in this particular case is I'm going to download it right to my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to click on Desktop here, just because it will be really easy to find. The name is already filled in because you're just downloading a file that I've already created. You can see here that it is a PDF file. So I'm just going to come over here and click on Save. You can see it starts downloading and I'm using Google Chrome as my browser and you can see here it's all done downloading now. Now I'm going to go ahead and minimize my browser window. And if we look out here on the desktop somewhere, it is right here. Here is the PDF file. You can see it right here. Okay, and you can see that it is an Adobe PDF file. It even says that on there. I'm going to go ahead and double click, and that is going to open it up. And let me make the window a little bit smaller so you can see it here on your computer screen. And there it is. You're now reading our computer basics file. And you can see that it's fully formatted and all the pictures and different things in it, just like any other document would have. And now you could print this out using the print button, or you could simply just flip through it on your screen and you could read it. Okay. Let me go ahead and close this and go back out to the Discover Skills site. You can see that we have all of our different handouts in e-document format here, and there's lots of them there. And we've also got some other e-books that are for sale out on our website that you can go to. So ebooks have become a big part of, of our curriculum here. So you can see that, that downloading an ebook from the Discover Skills site, and, and this is true of a lot of different places that have ebooks in the form of PDF files, is really pretty simple to do. And the nice thing is is that once you have it on your computer, all you have to do is double click on that PDF file and it'll automatically open up the Adobe Acrobat, or sorry, I keep calling it Adobe Acrobat. It's actually the Adobe Reader program, and it'll allow you to read it right on your computer screen or print it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video blog, and again, my name is John Lortz from the Senior Health Foundation, discoverskills.com. We will continue our series with online learning in the next video blog. I'll see you then.